Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today we're here to celebrate. We've reached 5,000 subscribers and we couldn't have done it without your support. So thank you so much. I finally got EVGA RTX 3080 LHR card. And we took a long road trip, almost seven hours yesterday, my wife and I, but we finally have this card. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing, quick review, and we're gonna be throwing in some miners and seeing how does it hash an NB miner and T-Rex miner. Let's get started. This card is the EVGA XC3 light hash rate card. I can identify that easily on the markings of the box. It has the LHR logo on the back, as well as the ending of the model number is dash KL, not KR. Whenever I buy them, I always make sure it's still sealed. We are going to break these seals open right now. One. Two. This beautiful card, it's got the plastic wrap, and I can see it has the cutout because the RTX 3080 has a different backplate on it. If I look comparing to a RTX 3070 from EVGA, you can see the clear difference in the card. This card is definitely heavier. It's also, it also has dual eight pins, so it's not three, it's only two eight pins, which is nice. Hopefully it's a little bit more efficient. A big, strong radiator to it. It's wrapped very well. I can't wait to plug it in. Let's go put it on a miner and see how well it performs. Let's begin by setting up a batch file to run NB miner with the necessary parameters, but I'm going to be using MSI Afterburner to do all my overclocking. I reset it. I'm going to set a power limit of 70% and a memory clock of plus 1300. I'm going to be leaving my core clock alone at zero. Let me apply that. Last parameter, let me set the fan. I'm going to give it a constant value of 70% fan to run. Apply that. Now we're all set to start mining. Starting up NB Miner version 39.7, I see my RTX 3080 card there, LHR mode of one, and LHR value I'm using 75. I was able to boost it in my testing off camera and get even a more aggressive number. I'm still using the same 70% power limit and 1300 is my memory clock offset zero core clock limit and you can see the gpu clock is fluctuating it's bouncing up and down because we're not using a locked core clock first status message is in it's showing about 71.14 but i wait for at least a second or third to get some indicator of how well it's going to mine all right 74.24 mega hash at about 236 watts my efficiency is 314 a little bit low but still 74.24 if i can sustain this number i'm going to be getting more slightly above my 74 percent uh, hash rate on this light hash rate card let's let a few more shares come in before we can confirm these results i've let this mine for a little bit i have about 14 accepted shares 74.41 mega hash 236 watts of power 315 is my efficiency at the wall if i take a look at the power meter i see I have 252, 253 watts. That's pretty close to what I'm seeing on here. Still making at least 74 and above is what I'm consistently seeing on these numbers. So that makes me really, really happy. The efficiency I wish was a little bit better, but at least I'm happy to be able to get 74% out of this card. I'm gonna call my final mining results of this R 74.3 mega hash, efficiency of 317, 234 watts on the miner, but only 243 on the wall. So they're very, very close. My LHR value is 75 and I use power limit of 70%, zero core clock and plus 1300 on the memory clock. Let's get over to T-Rex Miner and see how that does. We're mining using T-Rex version 0.24.7 with the RTX 3080 LHR. I'm using an LHR value boosted of 74.5. My memory overclock is plus 1300 and I'm using a locked core clock of 1008. Let me refresh MSI. You see the values are there. Again, we don't update values in MSI when we're using the locked core clock from the command line. Ooh, 76.14 I'm seeing on the bottom, just starting to come in. Let's wait for some status messages to come in. 75.46 mega hash. My memory temperature is 90 degrees Celsius. I have a fan set up at 70, so I'll have to keep an eye on that, but it's still within range for me. I'm getting numbers in mid 75, 75.5, 75.33. Gonna let this run for a little bit, get a few more shares and see what our mining results come to. 77.24 mega hash. 
Wow, that's incredible. I seen numbers hitting 76s before, but 77.24. The way LHR technology is evolving, it's incredible. These numbers, I was just hoping to be able to pierce and get into the 75 mega hash boundary with this card. And now I'm breaking into 76 pretty consistently. These numbers are epic. 75.77, 77.17, 76 76.84, 77.27, oh wow, 76.57, this is really, really unexpected. I mean, I had high hopes even in my testing, this is absolutely incredible. If I take a look at the meter, I am seeing 252, 251 watts at the wall. It's pretty close in line to what I'm seeing on the miner. 76.57, these numbers are incredible tonight. I'm shocked, I really am. My final mining results are 76.1 mega hash with a 326 efficiency. And I'm seeing 228 watts at the miner, 238 watts at the wall after you take off the break Outboard. Those numbers are pretty much in line. My LHR value is 74.5 and I'm using 100% power limit, 1080 megahertz locked core clock and plus 1300 on the memory clock. Let's go over to our final results to see the NB Miner versus T-Rex comparison. This has been an incredible test for me to be able to put two of the best LHR miners head to head. And the best part was, is we finally have our own RTX 3080 LHR card. And you better believe we're going to be including them in all our mining tests going forward. The results speak for themselves. NB Miner did great using standard overclocks from MSI. I was able to get 74.3 mega hash and a 317 efficiency, which is fantastic. That means I'm getting over 74% of the full hash rate out of that card. There's no denying that T-Rex totally won by a landslide, giving me 76.1 mega hash Epic. using the locked core clock technology, which I think gives it that extra edge and a 326 efficiency. It was very, very surprising. And I was even hitting numbers as I've shown you earlier, 77 at one point. Off camera, I actually took NB minor to the test and I was actually doing manual locked core clocks. And I was seeing the numbers come up a little bit higher, even touching to the 75 range, but it could couldn't come nowhere near close to meeting the numbers I was seeing from T-Rex. Thanks for sticking till the end. It was really great to be able to finally test the RTX 3080 light hash rate card and put it in our miners to see our results. I have really enjoyed doing this video. And if you've enjoyed it too, please give me a big thumbs up like, smash down on that subscribe button if you haven't already, put all your questions and comments below. And until next time, we'll see you in the next video. Happy mining.